What's going on everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo and welcome to day three of Wild Eye Week 2023. Now today I am doing the movie Death Rink and I am coming to you from a very special location. This right here is the skating rink where Death Rink was actually filmed. Now at the time of filming, this place was called Roller King, just as it's called in the movie. The uniforms that were worn, everything that was done was from this actual skate park. It is now called Skatorama. Sometime a little after the pandemic, another company bought it and painted it and changed the name. It's only about six in the morning, so unfortunately I can't get inside right now. But I just thought it was cool to come to you from the location of the actual filming. Now, Death Rink is a 2019 film and was directed by Daniel Zubier, starring Alan Humphrey as Mike. Staff at a roller rink after hours are being stalked and slashed by a killer. This was also known as the Skateway Massacre. Now, I only have a couple cons. One is the killer's explanation. At the end of the film, our killer goes through a long tirade explanation of why they're doing what they're doing and I just felt that the film really didn't need that it was much better without it personally I did not think there was enough blood but that's just a personal thing of mine that's really not a slight on the movie that's just me personally now I have one more con but we're gonna wait because it has a connection to a pro so we're gonna get there now as I said one of my big pros is that this was filmed right here in Albuquerque at our local skating rink one of our local skating rinks and I've actually been here a lot of times I've been here for parties for my nieces and nephews I came here when I was a kid I mean because I grew up here off and on you know throughout my life different points so yeah I thought it was pretty dope that this was filmed right here one of my pros is that this movie has Jason's long lost son and no I don't mean Jason Voorhees I mean Jason, Horrific Nightmares, J.M. Jason. And the reason I say that is because this guy is putting mustard all over his pizza. Jay will get that. Now then, remember I said I had a con that goes along with a pro? Well, there was a kill that was filmed inside, right inside the doors there. There was a payphone. And there was a killer that used the payphone to kill a victim. And I really liked the idea of that. However, the execution of it was not great. It just looked really, really bad. I think that we could have figured out a way, or they could have figured out a way to do it a little more effectively to look a little real. Now, this movie had decent acting. The acting was pretty good. The production values were pretty good. Uh, I thought that the ending was really cool. I liked the ending, the way it, there's like a sh the, the shot where it actually ends. It's a throwback to old horror, and I love that. Like the very last scene, the very last shot in the film. It's awesome because they do this really cool throwback. And if you watch the film, you'll know exactly what I mean. Guys, I really do recommend Death Rink. This is another great, awesome Wild Eye film that people have just not given enough props to. This movie was really fun. It's 6 in the morning, guys. I'm fucking cold. I got a long drive ahead. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace, motherfuckers. I'm not a man, 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 I'